Today we're going to go over um, the install of the winch plate um, into the factory steel bumpers on the JL. The Rubicon that we purchased has both the factory front and rear steel bumpers. So that bumper is winch ready. It just needs to be a, um, you just need to purchase a winch plate uh, that goes in there. You can buy it from a bunch of different manufacturers. We did a bunch of looking around online and we purchased this package from uh, JCR Off-Road. It's made in the USA. They're out of Michigan. Um, you can see here that it came packaged in the foam that they expand inside of the plastic. And then so there's no issues of it being shipped, no problems, there was no damage. They wrapped it up real nicely. Um, comes with a hardware kit. Um, and it, it's pretty simple to install. There are a few tools that you need. Uh, the plastic push pin remover. And then basically a 13 millimeter socket and an 18 millimeter socket. And then you have to have a T45 hex to take the bolts off uh, the top of the uh, factory steel bumper. So just a kind of method of how we're gonna do it just to go through it uh, real quick. Um, we have a Smitty built uh, X2O winch that came off of uh, the truck that we traded in um, on the JL. So we're gonna install that into that this platform. Um, we start off by disconnecting the fog lights. Uh, we gotta take the factory skid plate off. Um, from there, we'll remove the cover plate that's on the top of the bumper. And then there are four bolts on each side of the frame rails. We'll take those two off. That front bumper slides all the way off. We'll install the tray, put the winch on the tray, uh, finish bolting the tray down, um, and we'll get the fair lead attached to the bumper. And then the whole bumper slides back on and you reattach it with the factory bolts. It shouldn't take us very long to do. Um, it's pretty simple and straightforward, and uh, it's made and designed to fit right into uh, the factory locations. So let's get to it. All right, just so you guys can see. What? There is just a factory plug right on the side of the frame rail. You just slide it off, press in the tab, and it comes. All right, so we just had seven bolts uh, for the skid plate and then just five for that top plate. And then there are eight bolts, uh, two on the inside of the bumper and then two on the outside. And so we'll take those off now. Can you see that? There they are. So that's what everything looks like. You can see the sway bar disconnect right there. So that's pretty cool. Um, and we'll just kind of both sides of the frame rail.
So there are two holes drilled in the frame rail. Right there and right there and the bottom of this plate goes into the bottom hole of that frame rail. So that's where it has to be installed. So we had to do a little bit of uh, jack persuasion to get these bolts in place just to hold it so that we can put the wrench on there. And uh, so that'll be the next install we do. All right, so that took a little bit of persuasion. It doesn't fit perfectly, um, so I was hoping that it would uh, slide right in place and we'd be able to do it, but we had to use um, some jack pressure to get the plate up uh, so that everything mounts. So uh, fortunately, it you know with a little bit of uh, um, mallet pressure, it, it moved right in, so we'll get it bolted up. So we got everything on, we got the bolts uh, tightened up. We're just gonna torque them down to um, 80 foot pounds and that'll be that. All right, so we routed, we routed the negative and the positive wires up along um, the inside of the frame rail. We're gonna connect our negative lead to the chassis ground, and that's just a 10 millimeter bolt. All right, and then we're just gonna put the positive lead on one of the positive terminals. All right, well that was the install um, of the winch plate um, into the factory steel bumper with our Smitty built x 2 winch uh, that has a wireless remote, which is super cool and super convenient. It went about as what I expected. It took us a little bit longer than I wanted to fit in the finish of the 
uh, the plate wasn't exactly what I thought it should be because uh, we had to do some jacking. And sometimes that's normal, you know, but for something that's designed to fit right up, this didn't fit exactly as it should be. However, you know, just like anything, it takes a little bit of finagling to make it work, and uh, you just have to kind of think around the issues and um, solve them the best way that you can. Overall, I'm pleased with the install. The winch fits perfectly. Uh, the wiring length was great, and uh, I think we're going to be really happy with it. So, um, we're waiting on the... Uh, uh, the JCR, JCR off-road uh, skid plate that goes with this and uh, the metal hoop that's going to protect the top of the winch that bolts right into where the factory locations are. So uh, hopefully we'll get that in the next week or so. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Uh, the next thing that's coming up, the next video coming up is going to be our installation of the um, Rhino Rack backbone system. Um, and the Rhino Rack crossbars uh, for the Jeep. So we did that already on Jacob's uh, Jeep. So we already kind of know how to do it. So hopefully that should move uh, fairly quickly. We do have to drill some holes in the top, uh, which always kind of gives you a, a time for pause, but uh, we'll go through that step by step. They make a great product. Uh, the install on his Jeep was easy and simple if you follow the instructions and we will do the same, but we'll bring you guys along. Thanks for watching. The only difference between the setup on my Jeep and the setup on your Jeep is going to be is that I have the Rhino Rack platform and you are just going yeah. to be using the racks yeah. so if you want to tell why. Um, so we had trucks set up differently and I had Rhino Racks already on my old truck uh, so we just bought a third rack uh, since we already had it. Third bar. Third bar and we just needed a foot kit. Jacob does have the Rhino Rack platform that his rooftop tent sits on. So that will be, like you said, the only difference is that one's the platform and one has the actual crossbars. So you'll get to see uh, both installations and what they look like on top of the Jeep. Again, thanks for watching. If you like this video or you like what we're doing, please subscribe and share, uh, and we'll see you next time.